Mabuhay! Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so let us now move on to our discussion about the Clash Detective tool in Navisworks Manage 2018. Take note that Clash Detective tool is not available if <clears throat> you are using a Navisworks Freedom or a Navisworks Simulate. Okay? So, it's only available in Navisworks Manage 2018. Alright? So, you need to uh, have a subscription for Navisworks Manage for you to be able to use the Clash Detective uh, tool. Okay? So, before we do anything or doing some Clash uh, detection, so let us talk about first a little bit, mo uh, a little bit about the Na Navisworks Clash Detective tool. So in Navisworks, it is most commonly known. Uh, you know, uh, when you talk about Navisworks, it is most commonly known for its uh, Clash Detective. Uh, this tool is uh, very useful to ensure that you know uh, all the models are coordinated with one another. So when you compile a 3D project, let's say for example the architect, the ME guys, the structural guys uh, gave you the model and you compile it, you will want to make sure that there are no interferences or clashes before the project goes into development, right? So that's the purpose of BIM. So using the Clash Detective tool or uh, command, it provides an audit check for the project and report on any clashes that may be existing, okay? Uh, what is a clash? A clash actually is where two objects are touching or colliding in the project or where two planes of the tessellated geometry intersect one another, okay? So, uh, Naviswork has the ability to do composite level clashing. Okay, so this means that when uh, multiple clashes are found between the same pair of composite objects, uh, they will be treat, uh, treated as a single clash. Okay, so that's how cool the Navis works is. So clashes between two parts of the same composite object will not be reported. Okay, so this helps minimize the number of clashes found in your models because sometimes the clashes that Navis works uh, finding in your project it's not actually a clash okay so to conduct a simple clash test so you need to open first the clash detective tool which is this one you can find it from the home tab tools panel clash detective okay so I'll go ahead and select this one okay so this is our clash detective so if you're going to hold your left click here at the blue bar you can actually position that at the top Okay, you can actually position that on the right side, bottom, or at the left side. Okay, so I used to place my Clash Detective window at the left side. Okay, so you will notice the Clash Detective window is divided into two panes. The first pane is represented by, an, uh, by a rollout with the name of the current test. So you see, if I'm going to click this one, Okay, this is our first rollout. So at the moment, I don't have a clash test here. So if I am going to place, so I can select add test here. Okay, and then you just need to key in here the name. Okay, so just uh, make sure you need to be specific on what is the name. So let's say, for example, anyway, it's, it's up to your <coughs> uh, BIM manager. So let's say doc. Uh, versus pipe okay so something like that so ducks pipe okay and then you press enter okay so that's how you create your first test okay so when you expand just like here when you expand it it expands to reveal all the clashes in the project but at the moment we don't have clashes yet because we haven't run the the clash detective tool okay okay so the bottom this is our first pane the bottom pane of the clash detective tool has four tabs rules select 
the results, and then the report. Okay, the first tab is the rules tab. So this tab, this one, this tab allows you to configure the rules or assumptions of items you wish to ignore when a clash test is run. Okay, so it also allows you to manage the rules by creating a new rules. See, there's an option here <clears throat> by creating a new rules, editing the rules, or deleting the rules. Okay, so items in same layer, it's more on AutoCAD. Items in same group, block, or cell, it's more on CAD. So usually this is the the option that I check here, items in same file. Okay, so the next tab is uh, select tab. The, the select tab allows you to define the test uh, you wish to run. Okay, you select the items in selection A against the items on the selection B. So as you can see, I only have one file here. I only have this main file. So basically, you can actually click that both if you really want to check the clashes on each a model in this project. Or another way, you can expand that. So let's say you want to check if there are some clashes between your uh, second floor. This is only an example. So second floor. So let's say you want to check out the floors. Just need to check the floors against... Let's say, for example, uh, for the mechanical. So I'm going to select the pipes, pipe fittings. Okay. Oh, sorry. So pipe fittings, you just need to hold the control key. Okay. So let's say from here. So basically, I want to check if there are some clashes on my pipe fittings. And the uh, floors on my uh, second floor. Okay, basically, you just need to check like that. Okay, so that is our uh, select tool. Okay, now for the third uh, tab, this is our select. Uh, this is our results. Oh, by the way, here on our select, you can also specify here the different um tolerance you can configure the clashing tolerance in this uh, uh select tab as well so you can specify here what are the different tolerance what is the type <clears throat> okay links okay you can also select here some options to include during your clash detection anyway we are going to discuss that so i'm just trying to discuss this uh, four tabs here so after the re uh, select so we have here the results, okay? So the results tab displays all the clashing items. All the clashing items found when the test was run. So in this tab, you can manage the organization of your results. So you can actually group items into this folder, into folders, and change the scene view, the visual styles to quickly review the clashes. So let me just try to run if there is a clash. So after you select from the select tab all the elements that you want to check, so I can select run test here. Let me see if there's a clash. Okay, so as you can see, it's reading. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Okay, at the results tab, so you will be able to see here the clashes. Okay. All right. Okay, so from here, you can uh, select the display settings. So obviously, there is a clash between the pipes and the floor. So this is what I'm talking about earlier. It seems they are clash, but actually, they are not clashes in the real project. So I just did this just for this exercise. So just to show you how it works. So let's say, I, for example, I'm going to click this one. So you will notice it will zoom into that particular clash, right? So... From the display settings, you see, I'm going to click this. Okay, so you can change here the items, colors, by status. Okay, so you can also uh, select here, hide the other elements. Okay, so it will only show you here the clash. Or of course, you can also uh, select here 
deem other okay so that at least you have an idea where where is that particular clash happening okay and you can also animate the transition so by default i have checked it okay if this is animate so as you can see as you click a clash here it's animating right <laughs> okay but if i'm going to uncheck this one if i click this it will just go to that clash, right? No animation. So basically, this is our results tab. Now, let's say, for example, you are done with your results tab. So this uh, this tab is the next that you're going to go into, okay, the report tab. So this tab allows you to manage your export settings, okay? So let's say, for example, you want to pass out the result of your clash detection to your client or your or to your other team member okay so report tab is the one that you need to go okay so this tab allows you to manage your export settings so Navisworks allows you to configure how you wish to export the results of your test so you can actually configure which information is included in the report and you can configure the report format so we will be having uh, exercise for that. So I'm just uh, giving you an introduction for our Clash Detective topic. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you may put it at the comment section below. So once again, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. This is Richard. Bye-bye.